टॉपिक टॉपिक आई एम डॉक्टर वैभवी राव पी रेजिडेंट ऑफ ऑफ्थालमोलॉजी फ्रॉम सेंट जॉन्स आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक ऑन बी स्कैन ऑप्टिक नर्व शीट डायमीटर नॉर्मल कट ऑफ वैल्यू एंड रोल इन डायग्नोसिस ऑफ पैपिलीडीमा so the aim for my study was to compare mean b scan ultrasonographic diameter or uh, optic nerve sheet diameter in patients with papilledema and uh, the normal controls to establish normal values so uh, optic nerve optic nerve is surrounded by a dural sheath which is continuous with the meninges of the brain so if there is rise in intracranial pressure that will be reflected around the optic nerve sheath and there will be swelling of the optic nerve sheath and there hence increase in diameter uh anteriorly the optic nerve sheath is distensible hence intracranial pressure changes is shown in the uh, optic nerve uh, diameter maximum changes at 3 mm posterior to the globe so ultrasonographic onsd correlates well with the severity of papilledema and is a relative non invasive technique helps in diagnosing follow up and differentiating between pseudo papilledema and true papilledema cases so uh, so as we can see due to increased icp there is increase in optic nerve sheet diameter and uh, 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 there is in uh, perioptic nerve sheet optic nerve sheet diameter is measured by ultrasonography a rapid easily accessible non invasive and inter observer variation is quite low and the measurements are highly reproducible even for novice operator taught in a single training session a uh, ne uh, need for my study was to normative value for onsd is needed as a marker for raised icp especially to aid in diagnosis of early papilledema and the variability in o value of onsd with race ethnicity validates the study in the indian population so various studies have been done in uh, uh, to establish varied range but have established varied ranges of normative value in nigerian adult population uh, the range of uh, onsd was around 3.6 to 5.1 mm another study conducted by chen h uh five included five one healthy chinese population uh, the range of onsd was from 4.7 to 5.4 mm the materials and methods used were we uh, we had conducted a prospective case control study and uh, in on in the period of january 2020 to july 22 and the study population we included were all patients of papilledema with age and gender matched controls we had included uh, patients diagnosed clinically with papilledema and confirmed cases of raised intracranial pressure and uh, no, their normal age and gender matched controls we did not include the patients have, uh, who cannot be shifted to opd and the uncooperative patients uh and we underwent a complete evaluation uh, and uh, the diagnos uh, the patients diagnosed to have papilledema were subjected to b scan onsd and similar age and gender matched controls were taken and uh, we measured b scan onsd for them and we divided the case uh, divided into group 1 that is cases and group 2 that is controls so retrobulbar onsd measured 3 mm behind using b scan ultrasonography in both patients and control with probe held horizontally in patient with patients in supine position uh so in my uh, in my case there was uh, 54.5% uh, of females and 45.5% of males uh, uh, cases were 62 uh, contained 62 there were 100 cases so uh, of 62 females and 38 males and uh, control uh, control included 52 uh, 53 females and 47 males so causes of papilledema included intra uh, majority of the cases included in increased intracranial hypertension hence explaining the female preponderance in my study uh, other case, other causes included cerebral venous thrombosis infectious etiology and other uh, tumors uh, so in the uh, so 200 is uh, 200 is in group 1 uh, of that 94 of them had a uh, 94 Uh, eyes had onsd of value of 4.1 to 5 mm and uh, as we can see uh, the uh, the case uh, the group 1 had onsd of uh, more than 4 mm uh, in uh, whereas in group 2 majority of the patients had onsd value of less than 4 mm uh, with maximum uh, maximum of the eyes having around 2.1 to 3 mm 
uh, and uh, the range of ONSD in group 1 was 4.2 to 5.6 with average of 4.91 mm and in control group 2 was 2.5 to 3.5 mm with uh, average of 3.02 in uh, controls so difference in group 1 and group 2 was clinically significant so our discussion it uh, uh, other studies were conducted by uh, dung H in uh, in Taiwan with the mean ONSD of 4.1 mm Kritiansen had conducted a study uh, which uh, also had ONSD range of 4.8 to 6 mm Wyman et al had conducted a study on 300 patient with normal ON uh, with ranges for, of uh, ONSD of 4.94 and 5.17 mm uh, and uh, so the conclusion was B scan ONSD uh, we recommend as uh, 3.5 mm as a normal cutoff value in our population when uh, clinical papilledema diagnosis is equivocal and uh, the conclusion other conclusions include uh, it, uh, B scan ONSD is a reliable quick non-invasive tool which can be used to aid in diagnosis of papilledema and can bypass invasive procedure like lumbar puncture and uh, ONSD is significantly higher in papilledema. Uh, shortcomings of my study was there was indirect tool of measurement of uh, is an indirect tool ONSD to measure intracranial pressure and uh, there was female preponderance in my case due to higher number of IIH uh, uh, patients our study population might not be an ex uh, exact representation of wide varied Indian population so my references was uh, uh, Ragunandan et al. And it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. It's, it's, you okay. don't have to read out and uh, just a suggestion since you are not part of competition so you'll out but always time yourself. You you overshot uh, and generally even if your paper is so good you may not be considered for competition if you overshoot the time. But very nice, very good presentation. Thank you. Sir.